problem if you use the formula of the binomial and have problem uh, is to expand the binomial raised to the power. The binomial we'll be working to expand is x minus 2y all raised to the fifth power. And so um, from the formula, you can see what we need to do is determine what our, our a and b are and then plug in. So just working from the formula, if our problem is x minus 2y to the fifth power, uh, we can just replace in the formula any uh, a's with x and any of the b's with negative 2y. And we get this. Um, we're going to go from k to 0 to n. In our case, n is 5. Um, n is always the power you're working with. It will be 5, 2, 8. And we have a, but for us, our a is x. Uh, to the n, which is 1, minus k. And then we'll have b, in our case, b is negative 2y, uh, to the k power. Now, uh, we've, we've filled in the formula as it's listed. All I've done is I've gone through in the formula and I've replaced all of the a's with x, and I've replaced all of the b's with negative 2y. And I've replaced all of the ends with five. And we have listed now um, the formula, but the problem is actually to expand this one. So if you recall um, with the summation notation, how you work with summation notation is you start at the bottom with the starting index of k is zero, and you work towards the top with the stopping index at k is Five. We're going to stop in k is five. So I like to just go through and list each term. It's going to get a little long, but if you just systematically go through and work with each k, you'll get the correct solution. I'm going to put my equal sign way over here because we're going to have a long expression. And the first one I'm going to do is k is zero. So I'm going to say five uh, to zero, where the binomial coefficient five is zero there, and I'll have x to the 5, fifth power, because it's 5 minus 0. And then I'll actually have negative, two, I'll go ahead and write it, negative 2y. But notice that that negative 2y is to the 0 power, so there's not actually anything there. In the final problem, there won't be any negative 2y there. It'll just be x to the 5. Then we go ahead and put our plus sign, and we move on. So this was... This was when k was 0. We're going to move on now to k is 1. Now k is 1. And we'll put in everything. We'll say 5. Choose 1. Uh, x. Now, notice x is 5 minus k, so x is to the 4th power here. We're just actually going down by 1. And then our negative 2y will have a power. And the power on our negative 2y be 1. Ah, the next one, well, we'll do k is 2. So now when k is 2, do 5, choose 2, x to the 5 minus 2, which is 3, and then our negative 2y, which is 2. Notice that the powers on the x's are just always decreasing by 1. It goes 5, 4, 3, and the powers on the negative 2 y's are always just increasing by 1. 0, 1, 2. We're going to keep going. So we still have k equals 3, 4, and 5 to 4. Let's continue on the next page so that we can pick up and have room to finish the remaining terms of k. So the next one would be k is 3. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put k is 3 on the same line here. We may have to move down. Uh, so it would be 5 choose 3. We're just increasing uh, k every time. Notice now that it's x squared 
because it would be 5 minus 3, and it's negative 2y. And how many of those are we going to have? We're going to have 3 now. A is 3, it's always negative 2 and negative 5. So this is k is 3. I think we're going to move down to the next page to include um, k is 4 and k is 5, but notice that it's just still a continuation. There will be a plus sign, and you'll just continue on to k is 4. So for k is 4, we would have, I'm going to leave some room, uh, we would have 5 choose 4. And I'm going to leave some room to go back and to kind of solve what these things are. Uh, we're going to also have uh, x. Now we're down to x to the 1 power. The 1 power of x. But we've got negative 2y to the 4th power. And this is k is 3. And then our final step our stopping, remember at the top of our sum was our stopping and next time is 5. And you kind of know to stop at 5 anyway, because once you get to 5 choose 5, you can't go on to 5 choose 6. You're done. Um, so how many x's will be left? There actually won't be any x's left. They're all gone. But we have only two ones. Okay. This is for x. We've gone through and we've just replaced in the formulas, we replaced all the A's with X's, and we replaced all the B's with negative two Y's, and we replaced all the A's with five. And then we took the summation notation and we just went through each K and we expanded it all the way out. The final, well there's two more steps, but the next step would be to evaluate each of these terms. And so we would go ahead and evaluate. So the 5 choose 0, and when you do 5 choose 0, you evaluate that binomial coefficient, you would just get 1. This thing becomes a 1. You've got x to the 5th, and then you don't have any uh, negative 2y's, so I'm not even going to write those. We've got 1x to the 5th, that's the first term. Now, uh, the next one's going to be 5 choose 1, and when you evaluate 5 choose 1, it's just 5. Now, how many x's are there? Well, we're x to the 4th. Now we've got negative 2y to the 1, let's just put times negative 2y. That's the next term. Then, we move forward and we're going to do 5 choose 2. 5 choose 2 is actually 10. It's actually 10. And then we're going to have 3x's. And then we're going to have a negative 2y squared. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say times uh, negative 2 squared is 4, and then y squared. And I did that because I want to eventually be able to combine my 10 and my 4 and get a 40. So I went ahead and evaluated the negative 2 squared. Then next is 5 choose 3. you got to know what 5 choose 3 is. Uh, it's another 10. I'm going to say plus. Yeah, it's 10 again. And you can just evaluate those on your calculator. We're using the factorials um, that we learned to evaluate the binomial coefficients. And then we've got how many x's? Two x's. And then we've got negative 2 cubed. Negative 2 cubed is actually negative 8. So I'm going to say times negative 8. And then we've got a y cubed. We'll go down and we'll do the same thing at k equals 4. So for k equals 4, we're going to actually have uh, 5 choose 4, which is just 5. We're going to have x to the 1 power, that's just x. Don't write the 1 power. 
We've got negative 2 to the 4th power, that's a positive 16. And then we got y to the 4th power. And the last term, 5 choose 5, that's just 1. x to the 0, so we wouldn't even write that. We wouldn't even write the x anymore because there's not any of them, there's 0 of them. But we've got negative 2 to the 5, that's times negative 32, and then y to the 5. Is so we're almost done. The last step is to just go through and calculate each of the terms. Uh, I'm going to just put, let me get a marker. I'm going to put my equal sign here, uh, equals. And then what happens is the first term is just, the first term is just x to the fifth, because, well, you don't write the 1. It's 1 times x to the fifth. It's just x to the fifth. Now, the next term is actually, notice that the numbers, we got a 5 and a negative 2. It's actually going to be 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. We're going to just go through and combine all of our constant values, and then we'll put our variables. We still have x to the fourth. We still have y. The next one is, well, we got a 4 and we got a 10. So we'll do plus 4 times 10 is 40. We've still got x cubed, y squared. The next one, we got 10, we got negative 8, that's negative 80. And then we've got x squared, y cubed. Then we've got uh, 5, and, um, 16, and that's another uh, 80, and we got 80, and that's x y to the 4. Well, I ran out of room again, but the last term, there's only one thing left, and it's this guy. Notice when we got times 1, we don't put it. The very last thing is negative 32 y. And that's the complete expansion of x minus 2y to the fifth.